In this video, we're going to talk about the Insta360 Link Webcam. Okay, so I'm a little bit late to the game. This, uh, this webcam has been out for a few months now. I've already hooked it up to my computer. Originally, I was going to do an unboxing, but many of the reviews have that already, so you can check out those videos for, for that sort of information. I want to speak specifically to instructors, teachers, trainers, uh, whoever might be in a situation where they might want to use a webcam such as this for virtual classroom experiences, or even, you know, if you're a YouTuber like me and you do your training uh, through, you know, a video site such as YouTube. I see a lot of benefit for anyone who's a traditional classroom teacher to use this product. Now, by itself, it's a 4K video, so its quality is excellent compared with many of the other webcams that are out there. So no issue with that. But what makes this webcam unique is that it has a built-in gimbal, which allows the webcam to pan or tilt and zoom in and zoom out depending on the circumstances. And where the AI comes in, because when you take a look at the box, of course, it says the AI powered 4K webcam right there. What they're referring to is that there is a little bit of artificial intelligent magic that occurs when you use this webcam. I'm going to walk you through some of the features that I think are going to be beneficial for instructors, teachers, trainers, educators, whoever you might be, uh, you know, in your situation. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about how the gimbal can work for you. There's two ways you can activate what's known as follow mode, where the camera literally pans and zooms and tilts, depending on your position in the room that you're in. The first is through the software, and I'm showing you the software right now. You can turn that on by clicking on the tracking icon, the bottom left in the cluster of icons that are there. Another way you can do it is you can just hold up your hand until the camera actually flashes, letting you know that it's in follow mode. So if I move my position and I maybe slide my chair over here, you'll see that the camera follows me. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if I go to this side of my desk, uh, it will follow me there as well. And it's quite extreme. I mean, I literally can get up. I want to stay close to my microphone for your sake, but I could get up and walk to the other side of the room. The camera will follow me. Now, once you've um, used this, you can, of course, uh, save the preset positions using this plus icon in the software. I've set up um, a shot for YouTube. There it is. But I've also set up a shot for let's say the right side of my desk where you might want to place a product that you're talking about or, or something of that nature, right? And then just as quickly return back to this view here as well. So you can set those different presets that are there. Now, there's another situation where you can use, again, that AI intelligence, if you will, and that's what's called desk view. And you can simply turn that on using the controls that are in the software itself. If I switch to desk view mode, I can see the top of my desk, a little bit of my stomach as well. But the main point here is that I can bring a product here. And the AI part of this is that it fixes whatever distortion a downward facing webcam would experience. In fact, I don't even need to spin it around as you would expect to make it oriented for what the camera is doing, it's intelligent enough to know how to do that. So I can read it, so can the webcam, and it works great. And of course, I can return to my webcam view just by, or my regular YouTube video view, if you will, just by clicking on one of the presets or simply deselecting the desk view mode as well. Now, there's another mode that's very similar to desk view mode in that it does take advantage of the AI technology that's built into this camera. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, educators, trainers, teachers use whiteboards 
and would love to use them in a virtual classroom setting. I don't actually own a whiteboard, so I've kind of faked it for this video. The camera itself comes with four stickers that you can put in the corners of your whiteboard. And then when you switch to whiteboard mode, the camera zooms in and reframes the shot on your actual whiteboard. To simulate this, I've put those stickers on a picture frame that I've placed simply on a ladder behind me so it's within shot. Now there is a, um, a gesture mode to turn that particular feature on. I can just simply do this uh, with the peace sign or V sign if you will. And what will happen is it will switch to that view based on, the, on finding those stickers. So now it's zoomed in and actually adjusted for any kind of distortion. And if I wanted to, I could turn around and start writing on the whiteboard if it was really a whiteboard. And that would all be captured in the virtual classroom setting. So whether you're using Zoom or Teams or whatever tool you're using to share your knowledge and skill with everyone that's uh, learning from you, they'll be able to see your whiteboard and you can take notes or you can illustrate an example or a thought or an idea that you're trying to convey to your students. So my feeling is that the Insta360 link is a game-changing webcam specifically for teachers, instructors, trainers. I think there's so many applications where we can take a webcam like this and really improve on our virtual class type situation. So I encourage everyone to check it out. I've got a link to the product directly from the manufacturer in the description of my video. And uh, if you are going to purchase the, the Insta360 link, please do so through the link that I've provided, uh, just so you can let the Insta360 folks know that I sent you. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.